All right everyone, linear fusion rifles are going to be all the rage next season as they are due an imminent buff by Bungie. You've probably never really used them or even know what to look for as a good roll. Luckily, I don't either. So let's look at the best ones you can get right now in Destiny 2 and talk about what they are going to be good for. If you're hyped for the new season, you're in the right place as we build up to returning to the Vault of Glass. Subscribe if you're new here, help us hit 103,000 likes today and finally, let's get into it. Since the glory days of Destiny 1's sleeper simulant meta and arguably Forsaken's gambit meta, linear fusion rifles have always been kind of meh. They've had brief moments where they have been quite powerful, but there's always been something to overshadow them like grenade launchers or swords. They sit in a really unique position in the sandbox and arguably play right into the power fantasy that players desire. Fortunately, with the upcoming buff, they are going to be contenders for your power weapon slot, whether it's for high DPS boss damage in certain encounters or for champion melting potential. They are actually super potent in PvP, with a heavy brick giving you 6 shots in the magazine, making them one of the best value heavy weapons you can use, plus they all have excellent aim assist, making them super easy to use too. There's a small selection of linear fusions available right now which all bring something different to the table. So let's look at them and the best perks you need to be keeping an eye out for. Two of them are currently very easy to farm for in terms of god rolls and the third one is massively RNG based but arguably is the best one. Now let's jump straight into what you'll be needing to hunt down in terms of a DPS PvE god roll and it's one you'll be incredibly familiar with, the Threaded Needle. It drops often from the battleground activity and you can currently focus it via the Umbral Recaster using the Umbral Engrams at the Helm Social Space. Now you've got Barrel and Battery options which will boost your range, handling stability, impact or charge time first up. Fluted Barrel is the easy choice here which bumps stability and handling flat out improving the feel of your weapon. Next Enhanced Battery or Ionized Battery are the shouts here as they both improve your magazine size as otherwise you're messing with impact and charge time with the other battery options which will lower your overall damage output. Now in the final two columns there's no other choice than Clown Cartridge along with Vorpal Weapon. Clown Cartridge will bump up your magazine size up randomly when reloading, easily pushing you to a 10 magazine clip which is perfect for DPS and when combined with Vorpal Weapon which will boost damage to vehicles, bosses or guardians in their super, it's really a no brainer. Alternatively, auto loading holster with Frenzy could work but Frenzy is getting toned down a bit next season and as it isn't always active, it's not ideal for pure DPS encounters. The next one you can farm for currently is Corsair's Wrath. This drops from the Wrathborn hunts and arguably feels similar to the Threaded Needle but it generally has a totally different perk set, especially in the final column. This one is definitely more PvP orientated in terms of perks but it can have some good combos for PvE too. In PvP you'll want to prioritise range to increase its bullet magnetism with Hammerforge Rifling being the best barrel option here. Projection Fuse is great for PvP to boost range even further, with arguably even accelerated calls being worth it too. Killing Wind is easily the best perk for all around bonuses to range, handling and mobility after a kill and is top tier everywhere in the game. In the final column, High Impact Reserves or Fresh would be my pick. High Impact Reserves will give a slight boost to overall damage output and Fresh will grant bonus super energy on kills. Like I said, this is more your dueling linear fusion rifle with this perk setup being great in PvP but just as handy for champions and mini bosses over outright DPS in PvE. Tarantula is the final legendary linear fusion rifle currently available and can be acquired as a world drop with no real target farm for it. It does have the highest base range out of the three linear fusion rifles making it already a perfect PvP choice but it does have some top tier damage options too. 
barrel and magazine wise, fluted barrel and either enhanced or ionised battery are ideal choices for boosting stability, handling and magazine size. Moving target and snapshot sights are a great pairing to make an all round great feeling weapon. But my pick for PvE content especially would be firmly planted along with box breathing. You're going to get an insane stability boost when crouching with firmly planted and aiming for a brief moment will boost your weapon damage by 33% outright. You need to hold for 1.5 seconds between your shots to trigger box breathing but it's still great for boosting your DPS. Honestly, I'd definitely go get your hands on a few different rolls of these with each one being perfect to cover all of the elemental damage types. They aren't even too shabby right now, but are just outperformed by nearly every other heavy weapon and that's including the exotics. Sleeper Simulant and Queensbreaker are some of the most iconic weapons in Destiny's history, but even these two pale in comparison to other more popular DPS choices. However, if you haven't already, then go and get yourself the catalyst for Sleeper Simulant. It used to be tied behind one of the Leviathan raids, but you can now obtain it as a random drop by completing any level of the Nightfall ordeals. It grants you accelerated coils to boost charge time, as well as deeper pockets to add two more rounds to the magazine. Sleeper used to be king for DPS in the original Vault of Glass raid and especially during the Age of Triumph in D1's Twilight, so it wouldn't surprise me if Bungie had teen up to return in Season 14. As for builds and mods to improve any of these even more, Stasis is the way to go for solo play especially with the Whisper of Hedron's Fragment along with the Whisper of Torment and Whisper of Fractures to boost grenade and melee cooldowns as well. Linear Fusion Rifle, Ammo Finder, Scavenger and Reserve mods will be especially key to make the most out of them. Either way, I think you'll be seeing a lot more of these iconic weapons next season, so let me know if you've got any great roles or are hoping for Sleeper to return to its former glory. I hope you enjoyed this quick guide for Linear Fusion Rifles. If you did, then please subscribe to help me get Worlds First next season and also let's hit the like goal of 103,000. That's it for this one though, so on that and as always, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time.